Okay, I'm going to show you in this video how to convert CD ISO images to a DVD ISO image. You'll need to go to the rapid share link I'm going to post in the uh, video's information. And you'll download that and get this file here which you can extract using 7-zip, WinRAR, or any other extracting tool you use. Extract it wherever you want. Oh, here it is. That was confusing. Okay, and you'll come up with three files. This one you need to delete as it's useless. This uh, just shows that it's from me. And you'll need to extract this wherever you want. And this is the files you'll be using. Uh, select these and extract these here as well. And these are the files that we'll be using. And it'll come with a program called ISO Buster that you'll need to install. I'm going to skip that because I already have it on my computer. Um, if it ever asks for a CD key or anything like that, uh, it comes with a key gen that you can use. Just type in an email address. You can make one up. And it gives you a registration ID and serial. You just insert all that information as you need. Um, you'll need to have your ISO image that you want to convert. Uh, for this, I'm going to be using the Gunslinger Girl for PlayStation 2. And you'll take all these files and you will extract them somewhere. I've made a temporary folder and extracted them already. You just gotta do it like this and drop the files where you want them. Because I have the files already, I'll go ahead and close this out. Now, going back to here, you'll come up with this here called DVD Scan 37 open this up, you don't have to install it and you switch this to DVD select file and open and find the good lines on the desktop, you have to go to wherever you put these files at and select them, go through you need to go through each file of each of these and convert all of the I'm not sure how that got in there that's supposed to be. And convert all the files inside so that they switch to a DVD image. As you see here, you can run more than one at one time to speed it up. This one's taking a while. This is where most of the information is anyway. Once all of these files have been converted, you'll need to run Nero or 
anything like Power ISO or Power ISO or Magic ISO. And but in I use Nero and in Nero you scroll down and you select DVD ROM UDF ISO. It should be the one at the bottom. And select new. And you just copy all these files whenever they're all done. This one's still going, but you copy the files and you put them over here. And you just put in a DVD into your drive and click burn and burn it off just like that. Pretty simple. Um, you'll have to find your own copy of Nero because I don't feel safe giving that out. And that's how you do it.